Hey guys, how's it going? I am here with a new video for you and I'm basically just going to show you what is in my bridal kit. I have two bridal bags that come with me on location and that's what I'm going to show you. If you wanna see how I pack my bags, how I organize my kit, what I have in my kit, um, then stay tuned and keep on watching. My next video, I'm going to show you how I carry my kit with me and how I do my setup on location. Don't forget to like and subscribe, comment anything that you're interested in seeing, any questions that you have about any products that are in my kit. I am more than happy to answer anything. So thank you, let's get into it. Okay, so this first smaller bag is my skincare skin prep bag. It has two layers. So when you open the top, I have my disposables. I have sharpeners, little baggies, little doggy bags that I use for trash. These are shadow shields, Q-tips, pointed Q-tips of course, lip wands and mascara wands. So I'll keep those in here. Then I just have some different powder puffs. These are just little cheapy ones that I get from um, like Walgreens and stuff like that. And you can wash them, Target also. I think you can find these at Target. And you can wash them and reuse them. Then of course I just have some exfoliating towels, uh, towelettes, and then some facial cleansing towelettes. Let's make up a mover. And recently I just found these pretty cool things. These um, Equate Beauty swabs. So they're pre-moistened with olive oil. They look like this. They come like individually packaged, which is really cool. And they're double-sided. And here I just keep a plastic bag for my dirty brushes and I'll just throw all my brushes in there when I'm done. I have some little sample jars in case I need to give someone a sample of lipstick or powder or anything like that. What do I have back here? Oh back here I just have the strap to this. That's the little top layer. And then the big layer, the main layer here. I have some hair nets for my brides or bridesmaids if it happens to be raining or something like that outside. Mary Kay eye cream. This is just a Time Wise 3D eye cream. And I'll just put that on everyone. And then I just keep some cotton pads. My alcohol, 70% alcohol. My brush cleaner. This brush cleaner is amazing. Um, and you guys will see that in my next video when I show you how to disinfect all your makeup and how to wash your brushes and things like that. So you guys will see that soon. A little Garnier Micellar Water. I love this one. I love the blue cap specifically because it removes all the waterproof stuff. And in general, I just feel like it removes makeup much better than the other versions. Thayer's facial toner with witch hazel. This is the one in that has um. This is the one that smells like cucumber. Then I also have depotted. Is this no sweat? This is by Mayron. It's called um. I believe they call it Skin Prep Pro now, but the original name was No Sweat. Basically, what this is is you would put this on a cotton pad and use it on your client's face. So it's gonna stop it from secreting oils and also sweat. It's going to help fight against humidity and things like that. It keeps your makeup really, really, really long lasting. This is great for my brides and my bridal parties on like those 90 degree July days, you know. Um, so I'll use this and then no moisturizer. You just jump right into foundation. And that's important to know if you decide to try this. This vitamin C beauty, C kale and hyaluronic acid serum. My Eve Pearl Priming Moisturizer Treatment, which I'm almost out. I have to order another one of these. Waleda Skin Food Light Real Lease Hydra Matte. This stuff is the best. I also carry the um, Light Cream Concentrates. Does anyone know how to say this if you're not French? I don't know. But um, this one's more moisturizing and great for like dry skin basically any skin type but if you're more dry i would go for this or if you're more oily i would go for this one elf poreless putty primer then i also carry the glassy from touch and soul this is just basically a glowing moisturizer tart maracuja oil this is the mini one 
and this lasts forever. This is great to use on dry skin or to mix into your foundation to give a little bit more of like a glow finish or to turn a cream into more of a liquid thinner formula. Then I carry a mini MAC strobe cream. This one is the Pink Lights. And I'll use this on my client's face, on their chest, on their arms, things like that. The Jason Vitamin E Oil. It's MAC Prep and Prime. Just the mini. I like the minis to go in my kit. Milani Lip Mask. It's a rose butter lip mask. This stuff is the best. It's thick. You can see it's not like super thin and liquidy it's really thick but by the time you get to the end of your makeup application your lips are nice and moisturized and ready to go just have these little mini just because they came in like a sephora points it's a line correct and moisturizer and then a line correct and primer i honestly haven't even used these yet but i'm saving them for some of my more mature clients um some of my mother of the brides and stuff like that and then right here in this little section i just keep some liquid highlights so i just have the benefit sunbeam little minis Benefit High Beam, Little Minis, and then I have the Benefit's What's Up Cream. A Peach Bellini Hand Sanitizer, Jelly Moisturizers, I'm just carrying right now the Makeup Revolution. It's Monumental and Prestigious. I keep that in my skin prep bag because I like to use those under foundation versus over top. And here we have sprays. So I have my Mary Kay Reviving Facial Spray, and I'll use this before makeup. It smells really nice. It smells like coconuts, like the beach, like a vacation. And then I also have this Mary Kay Makeup Finishing Spray, and this is also made by Skindinavia, which carries all the original setting sprays, but they do special bridal sprays, which I carry as well. So I have both of these. I have the Jeffree Star in Morphe Scrub, um, the Makeup Revolution Hydrate and Fix, and then Hydra Matte Fixing Spray. I clearly have used this one more, and I think it's just because I use it to spray inside of things like my soap brows, or if I'm gonna spray um, like a eyeshadow or something to intensify it, I kind of just use this. So that's basically everything that's in this kit. So we're gonna close that up. And then this big bad boy. Oh, my goodness, I love this guy. So first, let's talk about the pouches. In this little pouch here, I have some shout wipes, some breath mitts, you know, self-explanatory. This middle pouch here, I just have my Anastasia lip palette. I don't use this that often because I have all my other lip products in here, but I have this. I always keep it just in case I need to mix something up or create some kind of custom color. And then again, just like my other bags, I always have a bunch of these little ziplocs for dirty brushes and just dirty things in general that I don't want to sit on top of my other products. So here I have my brushes. Let's talk about this one first. This is the um, Makeup by Mario and Sephora brush collection. So I keep this right in there inside its case. And it looks like this. And I absolutely love these. They're so nice, super soft wicked easy to clean which if you're a makeup artist you know what i mean by some brushes don't wash well and they stain and they just don't look clean these are so easy to clean and i love it and then i also have one of these that has a bunch of different other brushes and yeah so what i love the most about these is that they fold down into a cup what i also love is that this little plastic piece is plastic so if for whatever reason it got dirty you can wipe it down you can clean it um, if you happen to stick dirty brushes in here, like you could do one of these where these are all your brushes and then you keep your dirty ones in here to wash later. And then you can just like wipe this down. And then I have my pencil cases. So I got these off Amazon. So I have them labeled eye pencils. So self-explanatory. I just have different eye pencils. And then I have pink and red lip liners. And... And then I also have my nudes and browns. So in here I have some KKW Beauties, another Urban Decay, some Mary Kays, some more NYX. And then open up the big guy. What I love about this one versus the smaller case 
is that it has these little straps here that hold it open. So basically how I have my kit set up is in the process that I work. So the steps that I do. Basically after all my skincare is on, I like to start with the skin first. That's just my preference. The only time I really do eyes first is if I'm using glitters that I know are gonna make a mess. So first section back here, all my liquid foundations. And I have them all depotted into these little pump tubes, airless pumps, and I can link these down below. Um, I got these on Amazon, super inexpensive and really easy to deposit. Jumping over here, I have my cream foundation. So I have all of the original 16 black opal sticks. And then down here, I have some William Tuttles. This is my East Pearl Pro palette. And this has 12 foundations, three blushes, a mattifier, which I basically will only use on the eyes. This is the cream illuminator. Here where I'm missing is the lip treatment. This lip treatment is amazing. I love it, it's out, I need to get more. They're called salmon concealers, but they're basically correcting concealers. And then here, I have liquid concealers. And these are all just Maybelline liquid concealers. And then here I have my cream concealers, which are thicker, more full coverage. These are the MAC Pro Conceal and Correct palettes, and I have all of these. Light, medium, medium deep, and dark. And then here I have my translucent powders. So I have the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. I really like this one. What I like the most about this is that it has a little flip cap. The Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder, and this also has a little pop top which I love Mary Kay translucent powder this as well is really thin really fine and this one is kind of hard to see because I'm sitting in a glare now of course okay there we go so this one has a little you move these little guys and they click open and click closed so it helps keep things a little bit more neater. For these Makeup Revolution, I have the Banana Powder and the Terracotta Powder. Then jump into over here. Oh, I missed something when I was talking about foundations. I'm so sorry, you guys. So then I have the Cinema Secrets 200 Pro Series. This is the Medium to Deep Golden Olive Undertones. It's the RCMA Foundation Adjuster Palette. But now let's get down to my colored powders. I carry all of the BH Studio Pro pressed powders. These are matte finished pressed powders. So I carry all of them. This is the lightest one, 205. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. So it goes 205 all the way to 255, which is this guy here. And here I have other powder products. So I have my bronzers and I carry the Tarte waterproof bronzer full spectrum by covergirl these are also bronzers for my deeper deeper toned women for my super super duper fair girls i have this bh brilliance bronzer in the shade golden gal this is the lightest one this is well used i'm almost gonna hit pan uh this is really nice for super fair girls because it doesn't come off too orange and we jump over to highlighters so yep bronzers and highlighters here my favorite, the Amreezy by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Classic, love that. I also have a Becca highlighter. This one is in Vanilla Quartz. Looks like that. I have a couple of the Fenty. I have the Mean Money Hustler Baby Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal highlighters. This one's well used. I love to use this on the eyes as well and for inner corner highlight. Then here I have the KKW Beauty Forever Highlighter. This is from the Mrs. West collection. These are my highlighters that broke on me, so I turned them into loose highlighters and put them in these little containers that I found on Amazon. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood, and then this is the Becca Champagne Pop. And then jumping over here, I have some different miscellaneous stuff. I have a random Danessa Myritz Color Fix Matte. This is in Desert Rose. One of my students gave me this as a gift when I hosted my class recently. He's so sweet. Thank you, Mark. A couple of my eyeliners. So this is the Tartiste's, uh Clay Paint Liner in black. I love this. MAC Black Track. 
Pro Longwear Fluid Line. We have our blushes. So we have bronzers, highlights, blushes. Benefit California. I have a couple of Eve Pearls. I have the Blush Trio in Sweet Cheeks. Looks like this. And then I also have the Blush Trio in Cinnamon cinnamon Cheeks. I guess this is considered for deeper girls. Siate, Siat, Siat, how do you say that? Siate London. Uh, this is Marbled Light Dusk. This came in my boxy charm and I fell in love with it. And I was like, oh, I gotta throw this in my kit. Cause it's just really pretty, I like it. Mac Melba, classic Mac Melba. And then I have a couple of KKW Beauties here. So I have Flower Wall. This is from the Mrs. West collection as well. And it looks like this. And then from the Mario, from the Artisan Muse collection, I have Very Graceful. And that's like really, really peachy. So to my brow section. So I have my soap brows. And it's basically just pear soap from the dollar store. And I just cut a piece off, stuck it in this little thing. So I have my soap brows. I keep that in here. Then I have all of my brow powders. I carry the Anastasia Beverly Hill Duo powders. I have Ash Brown. I like that there's two shades in each, a lighter and a deeper. I have Dark Brown. And then I have Soft Brown, which I can basically use on blondes. I can get away with this on blondes and redheads as well. I also have this little Sonia Kashuk from Target. This section is lips, so I have my lip palettes that I have made. This is the first lip palette that I ever made. It's not even labeled, I can't tell you what's in here. These are all of my Mary Kay lipsticks, depotted and labeled. My MAC palettes, uh, plums. These are the pro lip palettes. I have six modern browns, which I need to just get the tubes of these to like kind of refill and replace. And then I also have the necessary news. This one's really popular as well. Hitting all the pan, so I just need to find, I need to order some of the actual tubes of lipsticks and stick them in here. And stuck in here, I just kind of have my lash glues. I just stick them in there. And then over here, I have my little Eve Pearl lip palette. This is the ultimate lip palette. And it just has all different shades. I like this because it has more of my pinks, where I have all my nudes and reds and plums and all that. This has more of my pink. AKW lipsticks. And these are both from, this is He's a Mixer from the Artist and Muse collection with Mario. Looks like this. This one from the Mrs. West collection. It's called Love. It's pretty beat up. I need to get these depotted. I have an Eve Pearl Rose. I have Naked Cream. This is from the Urban Decay Vice. This one's almost done. And then I have my favorite MAC lipsticks. I have Whirl. I have Russian Red. I have La Vie en Rouge, which is like a nice hot pink, fuchsia pink. And then Velvet Teddy, which is another neutral. Gotta love those. Then lip glosses. So in here I have some lip glosses. These are all KKW Beauty lip glosses. This is Soulmate. This one's from the Mrs. West. This is Proud of You. This is from the Artist and Muse. And then I have Super Nude, which is from their original collection together. And then I also keep some other lip glosses up here. So I have a couple more Eve Pearls. I have this one, which is Hey Sexy. And then this one, which is Pop Pink, or well, Pink Pop. Iconic London Plumping Lip Gloss. And this is in the shade Nearly Nude. So I keep that in there. So I just have some of these Wet n Wild Liquid Eyeshadows. Um, they are what they are. I wanna invest in some high, higher end ones. I have this little Kat Von D sampler. I don't know, I just stuck it in there for in case. I don't know, I don't know why, it's just in there. Here I have a couple of eyeshadow primers, the Urban Decay one and the Anastasia Beverly Hill one. I have eye pencils back here. I just carry different ones. I have an Anastasia one, um, a Jordana one, 
This one is by Catrice. I have a Wet n Wild. I don't really use pencils often. I use my powders more than anything. Um, but jump into brows as well. I have a brow gel here. This is the NYX brow gel. And then I have a couple of the Mary Kay brow tints, volumizing tints. So I keep mascaras over here. I have a Maybelline Total Temptation. I like to use this one, it's waterproof. I like to use this one for people who don't want to wear lashes. Um, this is just a Neutrogena Healthy Lens. I like to get these Neutrogena ones because the brush comes separate and you can just toss it. So this is the cap. So I like those. I also have the waterproof one as well. Hydro Boost Plumping Mascara Waterproof. This is what I use mainly on everyone. And then I add their lashes. My tools, so I have my tweezers, my little scissors to trim my lashes, and then I have a couple of metal spatulas. And then this is my jade roller. This belongs in my other bag. And then here I just, and then here I just have a little razor if anyone has any little whiskers that need to be done. And then I have a lash comb. Let's see, what do I have inside the bag here? So I have another Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have the Glow Kit highlighters back there. Okay, that's everything there. And then for eyeshadows, here in this little section, I like to just stick my little spatula in there. And then right now, and these are always being swapped out my palettes depending on like what I'm feeling like using. But right now, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance in there. The Soft Glam in there. I have both of my KKW Mario palettes, so the original, and then the Artisan Muse. And then in that back pocket, I keep my James Charles palette always, just because it has all my colors, all my brights. And then also just like, I can create any neutral eye with this as well. So I keep that back there. This belongs in there as well, my Mary Kay palette. So I like to keep this in there. So I like to keep my Mary Kay palette in here because I have more blushes. And then their shadows are really, really good. The shimmers are amazing. And then I keep this little box. Originally came with mascara wands, but now I just keep it to kind of hold onto some lashes. And I carry all different lashes, mainly drugstore ones, mainly Ardell's. I like the multi-packs, of course, and the Kiss. The Kiss brands are my favorite, favorite right now. Um, and Ardell is doing these new naked lashes, which I'm really enjoying. Those are really pretty too. So I like natural lashes. I don't really carry anything too glam, too crazy, too big. Um, because again, my main focus is bridal. So that is basically my kit. And in the next video, I will show you how I do my full setup um, when I am on location and how I pack up my kit to go. So I hope you enjoy this. If you want to see more videos like this, please just let me know and I'll do more. Bye, guys.